Good morning, sir and sir. I hope you all are fine at home. Today we are going to start a very first chapter in English language, and the topic is the sentence. What is the meaning of sentence? Let's see. It is a group of words which makes a complete sense. Always remember, my dear children, that sentence is a group of words. One word or two words cannot be considered as a sentence. And then. it makes a complete sense yes very much important meaningless senseless cannot be considered as a sentence so a group of word and it should be a meaningful then only that will considered as a sentence apart from these two it should contain subject and predicate both subject as well as predicate are important If subject is there and predicate is not there, or predicate is there, subject is not there, then that sentence will not be considered as a sentence. It will consider as incomplete or incorrect sentence. Then it should start with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. If you are writing a sentence, then make sure that whenever you are starting your sentence. then it should start with a capital letter and ends with a full stop or maybe any other punctuation marks according to the sentence so the capital letter and the punctuation mark at the end is very much important so you have to use so all these four things in a sentence should be there then only that sentence will going to be considered as a correct sentence otherwise that sentence will not be considered as a Clear, my dear children. Now let's see the example. Leaking the roof is. Is this a correct sentence? No, it's not a correct sentence. Though it is a group of words, but then the meaning is not coming out. This is a meaningless sentence. Meaning is not coming out. That is why this is not a sentence at all. Next. The roof is leaking. Is this sentence correct? Yes, this sentence is correct. Why? Because we have all these three things in this sentence. It is a group of words. Meaning is also coming out. Subject and predicate is also there. Full stop as well as capital letter is also there. So. This sentence is correct sentence. I hope you got it. Now let us start our next topic in the same chapter phrase and clause. We are going to see what is phrase first. A group of words which make sense but not complete sense is called a phrase. Yes my dear children. <laughs> Phrases do not have any sense. Though it is a group of words, but the sense is not there, meaning is not there. That is why we call it a phrase. Now let's see the example so that we can able to understand phrase clearly. First example: The sun rises in the east. Now this is a full-fledged sentence. Now over here, the underlined words are your phrase. Now over here, in the east, in the east is not giving any sense. That is why it is a phrase. Let's move on to the next example. There came a giant to my wall. This is also a full-fledged sentence, and the underlined one, to my wall. Now to my wall, no meaning is coming out. So that is why we call it a. Phrase. Last example. It was a sunset of great beauty. Of great beauty over here is your phrase because sense is not coming out. So, my dear children, I hope you got it. Is it clear to you? Now, let's move on to the clause. What is a clause? Let's see the meaning. A group of words which forms part of a sentence. and contains a subject and predicate is called a clause 
Yes, my dear children. It is a group of words which makes a sense. It has subject as well as predicate. So all these th things you need to see in the clause. Now let's move on to the example. If you study well, you will pass. Over here, we have two clauses. See the first clause. If you study well. Now over here, we have subject as well as predicate. And one thing more, in this, you have to see the verb also. Because verb is also included in your clause. Verbs are not included in your phrases, but verbs are included in your clauses. So over here, if you study well, this is your clause and another clause over here, you will pass. So we have two clauses in this sentence. Next example, although he was weak, he could walk. Over here also, we have two clauses, although he was weak. One clause and another clause is he could walk. Clear students? Now we are going to do a quick revision of phrase and clause. Check out the video. Let me summarize it once again. Phrase is a group of words which make sense but not complete sense. Whereas a clause is a group of words which forms part of sentence and contains a subject and predicate and we have got a couple of examples for that I hope this much is clear to everyone now in the next session we are going to start and we are going to study about the types of sentences by the time take care stay home and stay safe thank you